Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. If my desire to end your life was still my purpose, we would not be speaking. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. The tone of your voice is understandable. Perhaps I can alleviate your suspicions. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quanarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. The hostility was necessary. I was bound to an oath. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Masters. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. Your words do me great honor. I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally and teach you my thum. In my language, the Quanaran is the vanquisher, the one who has bested a fellow Dova in battle. Even in the Soul Cairn, the defeat of the World Eater has reached my ears, Dovakin. You may not be Dova, but the defeat of Alduin earns you the right of title. You are the Dovahkiin, the Dragonborn. You may not be one of us in body, but you have earned the right to bear this title. Forgive me. My instinct was to grant you this title. I am uncertain why. Perhaps one day it will become clear to both of us. Forgive me, Quanarin. We will continue this when time releases you from its relentless grasp. Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The Soul Cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there, through your call. There was a time when I called Tamriel my home, but those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. I discovered too late that the Ideal Masters favor deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. I was, but unlike some of my brethren, 
I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. The ideal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched, that I could raise legions of the undead. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. You have kept your side of the bargain. Now let me fulfill mine. I can feel my strength returning each time I am set free from that prison. Ah, the free air of Fus at long last. I rejoice in my freedom, if only for a moment. The skies of Kaisal are mine again. You give me freedom from the enslavement of the Ideal Masters. Thank you. As promised, I now teach you the first word of soul tearing. Re, the essence of your enemy's life force. Hear now the second word of soul tearing. Vaz, meaning to tear your enemy's soul from its living vessel. Feel the last word of soul tearing within yourself. Zol, the unlife that results when a soul is imprisoned in dead flesh. Re, gone, deal, the soul, lahas, kafsam.